Now I wish to introduce the following idea. Between the age limits of nine and fourteen, there occur maidens who, to certain bewitched travellers, twice or many times older than they, reveal their true nature, which is not human, but nymphic. And these chosen creatures I propose to designate as nymphettes. Between those age limits, are all girl children nymphettes? Of course not. Otherwise, we who are in the know, we lone voyagers, we nymphalettes, would have long gone insane. A normal man given a group photograph of schoolgirls or girl scouts and asked to point out the comeliest one will not necessarily choose the nymphette among them. You have to be an artist and a madman, a creature of infinite melancholy, with a bubble of hot poison in your loins and a super voluptuous flame permanently aglow in your subtle spine, in order to discern at once by ineffable signs the slightly feline outline of a cheekbone, the slenderness of a downy limb, and other indices which despair and shame and tears of tenderness forbid me to tabulate the deadly little demon among the wholesome children. She stands unrecognized by them and unconscious herself of her fantastic.